Listen close. Then, now, they was mentioning something today in that letter that Joseph put out. And talking about the third seal. Let's see. I'm here in the uh, first seal right now. I don't think I can even get to the third in this part. Yeah, I can. Bear with me just one second. When he opened the third seal, there was something that was. Now you can open your Bible and read it. Or I figured I had it in the book right here. Do you love? Amen. Now I know it's got to be right in here somewhere. Well, when he opened the third seal. Talking about a voice and how it wasn't in the other seals. I've been to those every seal how something a little different happened. When the first seal opened, I'm turning my pages like crazy here, but when the first seal opened, what happened there? It thundered. You never hear that anymore in the seals. Not any of them. But then you go to the second, you don't hear nothing about a thunder. A white horse rider went out. A black one, a red one. When it come down to that last one, why was it pale and sick looking? That was the last power that would go out. Amen. To kill with what? Hunger. Everything on earth right now is at the end. These powers are not going to start riding. These powers are just about through riding. And that fourth one was the last one to go out. And when it went out, I mean, believe God sent a power out to combat that power. Amen. Do we know what that power was? Do you believe it was the eagle? Do you believe that was a prophet? You believe he had a message to go out and combat that one? Well, do we know what combat is? If you don't, watch what's fixing to go on over there now Man. with Russia. And so why does that fellow want to invade them? He wants more power. He wants to take more in. Say so people shouldn't be like, they've been like that since the beginning of the war. Look at the Pharaohs and things back in them days. Look at the people all down through the Bible today. Look at the people now. No matter what they've got, they want more. But when it comes down to that last one, that power is riding right now. The prophet said there'll be no more power that goes out after what? After that eagle. That's the last power that goes out. Well, I'm going to ask you, you believe it's riding? Do you believe we had the proof of it laid right here in front of us here tonight? Amen. Now on page 127, then one of the four beasts said, come and see what it is that's revealed beneath here. And this is so important, this book right now. Oh my, John, write what you've seen. <coughs> so John goes to look, see what it was, to see what the thunder said. Not thunders, but the thunder seed. It's then that the creature told John, come and see what the mystery is under this first seal. Brother Branham knocks on the pulpit four times. The thunder, the voice of the creator, has uttered it. Now he ought to know what's there. But oh my, just think it. He wrote that. But when he started to write those other seven thunders, he said, don't write it. Now, how many believe that? Amen. Then what can the people say it had to be written in the Bible or it can't be God's Word? Well, let every man's Word be alive and let God be the truth. Amen. How many times through this book, which is the deed to eternal life that we have got, how many times has he said, don't write it? Do you believe that prophet was God's voice to us in this day? Amen. Do you believe I can open 
How many times in this book? And you say, what them thunder say was never written in the Bible. Now, your kid folks that do not believe in the message of things, y'all crazy, you better get away from that stuff. You ain't good or taken away from it. Well, we find out it's only for the believers. Amen. An unbeliever will never accept none of this. But if you're a believer, you have no... I wonder so many times, how do people look in here and see something different and want to argue about it? Ever since I can open this book and understand it at all, I just believe it. Amen. I don't have to add a thing to it. I believe it. Why? This is eternal life to me. Amen. I hope it is to you. Amen. Now, he said, don't write it. He had been commissioned to write everything he said, but when the seven thunders over in Revelation 10 and other, he said, don't write them at all. They are mysteries. We don't know what they are yet. But my opinion, they're, they'll be revealed right away. And when it does, it'll give the faith for the rapture and grace for that church to move on out. Amen. Now, so do you think they was revealed right away? Right here they are. Amen. How can you ever get that new name without you believe this book right here? How can you ever believe your names in this book without believing this right here? The questions will ask. How will I know my name's there? How did the prophet answer that? He will reveal the mysteries. You will see them. And your name is there. He didn't say you'll argue with them or doubt this part. You'll believe it. You'll accept it. My name's in the book. Amen. I can't live good enough to make it. How many believe this book was written before the foundation of the world? Amen. How many believe your name was put in here before the foundation of the world? Amen. Say, you mean I can't live good enough to make it? No, but it's like the prophet said, do things that please God. Amen. Because that book was sealed, you were sealed with it. And as this book comes open, what's it? Does it have to reveal you? You believe you are this part of the Word for the day you're living in? Then if this is the Word and it's being revealed, then you have to be revealed with that book. You can't hear this revealed and you separate yourself from it. You got to be what this book said. Say with marriage and divorce is different. No, the marriage and divorce is dust left the Lord just like this is dust left the Lord. You can't argue with none of it. Now, we just moved through. Now listen to this. Everything that we know of, all the dispensation, we've watched everything. We've seen the mysteries of God. We've seen the appearing of the great gathering together of the bride in the last days. But yet there is something in there that we just can't lighten ourselves with. There is something another. Wonder what it was. Do you believe we're in on a mystery, a secret now? Amen. But I imagine when that mystery begins to come forth, you believe John heard them? The prophet said he did. God said, not John, God said, hold it back now. Wait a minute. Listen to these words and you'll get what I was just talking about. I'll reveal it in that day. Don't write it at all, John, because they'll just stagger over it. Just let it go. But I'll reveal it in that day when it has need to be done. Amen. It was not written in the Bible. No man can add to this or take away from it. Amen. But God came in this day and revealed what them thunder said and right here it is. Amen. What they preach was never written in the Bible. You, I know people are going to argue, well, it's got to be in the Bible or, or we don't believe it. What they preach was never written in the Bible. I want that in your mind. So, how are we going to get it? You believe what that prophet said? Amen. God said, hold it, John. Don't do no writing there at all. I'll reveal it in that day when it has need to be done. Amen. Well, we've got it, so it had need to be done. Amen. It had to be here this day to get a bride ready to leave here. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling pretty good about what I've read already. 
They never uttered for nothing. Remember like the little drop of ink, everything is for a purpose. Everything is for a cause. But notice, the Creator uttered. He heard this voice and he went to sleep. Now the Lamb, and here's what we've been, is showing John in a symbol of a church scripture. Like for the church to know what to write. He just showed him, he said, but don't tell this, just what it is. Don't go down, John. I hope you're listening to me close. Don't go down, John, and say, now this is just what it, this is of what's under this seventh seal here. Now, if you want to know what's under that seventh seal, we could jump from here. I'm not going to do it tonight. Back to the back. Under that seventh seal. And it don't matter what book you read. I've got so many. One here and now. Anointed ones at the end. Or God. Christ. The, wait a minute. The unveiling of God. And listen to things that prophecy. What's under this seventh seal? Now. Don't. Don't. Go down and tell that. For if I tell John, then all down through the age, the whole plan will be broke. It's a secret. Now hear this. What's the next words there? See, it's his coming. Amen. Don't tell John what's under that Sabbath seal. How many believe the Sabbath seal we can find it in the Bible? How many believe it was Revelation 10, 1 through 7? Amen. The prophet said, there is your second seal. Well, when you go to the book, all the way in the back, seven thunders hold that mystery. What mystery? Of when he come and how he'll come. And that's what Satan, if he can get people right here just to doubt a little bit. That's all he wants. But somebody's going to believe that. Amen. Somebody believes that seven thunders on earth will show you how he come and when he come. Because you get in the back, the coming of the Lord is a mystery. Amen. And so is what these thunders say. That's the reason you would not know what they said also. Because they are connected to what? Connected together. Amen. What? The coming of the Lord and seven thunders. Now, you believe God connected them together? Amen. Then how would you want to try to take and unconnect them? And say, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't see how that could happen. Well, we read it right here. It's a secret. He's coming. And he said, nobody is going to know when I'm coming. I'm just coming. That's all. And the Bible said, it ain't for my business to know when I'll just be ready. Amen. What about you? Amen. So when is he coming? You ain't that blind. I hope not. We ain't sat here all these years for nothing. I want to ask you something. How did we get this mystery right here? It's already written right here. But how did we get in on this? How can we turn back to the back back here and read what he said about them thunders? Every time he mentioned the coming of the Lord, he puts the thunder right there with him. Amen. Right here, he done the very same thing. Don't tell what's under that seven seal. The whole plan will be broke. See, it's his coming. So, the world says, the prophet said, they say they know when he's coming or how he's coming, but they don't know. They got him coming out up in the sky here somewhere, a bunch of angels doing all this. That's not how he's coming. Amen. He's already come. The thunders will tell you that. He's already come. They'll point you to it. Amen. And he comes just like he said he would. He'll come in the clouds of glory. Amen. He's already come doing everything he said he would do while he was here and getting a bride ready to just step over the earth any time now. Amen. To do what? You believe there's a land right out here in front of us? Amen. Are you looking forward to stepping over one day? Amen. Do we believe the messenger that God sent in front of us no matter how old and feeble they get? Do we believe that? Amen. Or do we start looking and making fun and laughing? Well, he don't know this, he don't. I'm going to show you one day in this word right here, just how much God does use them men. Amen. It don't matter what their age is or nothing else. And when we have even thoughts in our mind about God's servants, we're headed for trouble. Amen. That's why respect. The prophet said the man don't demand respect, but God demands 
that you respect that servant. God demands that, not demand. So when you don't do it, what's happening? What are we living in? How many are going to come up right here and be sitting at the table and have to go right out into the tribulation here? I don't know about you, but I, I'm so sick of this world, I want to just stand up one day and step right over into the promised land. Well, we'll never grow old again. Never get sick again. Never have a heartache again. How many wants that? Yeah. Now, I don't know how to be about tomorrow night. We'll wait and see. We'll see how weak I am. As you can see, even with what little bit I've done here, you can watch my hands. It's just unbelievable how weak I've got in the last little while. We're fighting that jump. But then I just listen to everybody that's around me. Well, you don't look like it. You don't act like it. I hope I keep on doing that. And then one day, I can tell you this, I won't even feel like it. I won't even feel old anymore. Don't you want to go to that land that we're talking about? God bless you. And if we can, at all, we'll be here tomorrow. And I'll let you know in plenty of time. We'll see what the weather is, see how this old body's feeling. But how many enjoy it tonight at all? I mean, I we need every bit we get, don't we? God bless you until we meet again, everybody.